All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And today I wanted to talk about how to upgrade your audio for your YouTube videos. And when I started my channel back in April of 2020, I was hunkered over there in the corner actually uh, when I had my desk over there. And my first video, I was holding my smartphone in one hand and trying to do a review of some headphones with the other. And it was a shaky mess. It didn't sound good because obviously I was just using the onboard mics on my smartphone. And don't get me wrong, your smartphone and all that is okay when you first start, but if you are gonna take it serious, then eventually you're going to want to start upgrading your equipment. So eventually I got a better camera, which I'm shooting on my Sony a6400 right now, which is way better than my smartphone. And then I eventually upgraded my microphone to the Movo VXR10 that I'm using right now. And that's the microphone I've been using for literally like six or seven months now. And it's done me well. But there are some shortcomings with a microphone like that because one, I'm limited to being stuck close to my camera. I don't have uh, the ability to walk around and get away from the microphone. I have to be very close, which right now I'm only about two and a half to three feet away. I wanted to try to find something that was a little bit better for giving me that mobility, but also just making it sound like the microphone's right in my face. And so I came across the Boya BYM1 and Think Media actually, I have to think on this because they actually did a review video of this and really spoke highly of it saying it was probably one of the best budget lavalier mics that you could buy. And of course, then I did a bunch of other YouTube searches and found some other videos, but they're the ones that actually put the idea in my head of actually using a lavalier mic. Now I went with this one because budget wise, it was only $20. Um, I'll put my affiliate link down in the description. Uh, there was some that were a little bit cheaper, which was the Boya one still, but it didn't have uh, like a foam windscreen. It didn't have the bag or the box. Uh, and then this one was a little bit more because this one actually included a dead cat with it. I almost got the pro version, but it was $5 more. And to be honest with you, after watching some YouTube videos of the comparisons. I didn't really hear a major difference, to be honest with you, between this one and the BYM1 Pro. So I wanted to try this out. So let's go ahead and jump over to my desk here and let's see what comes in the box. And then next we'll do some audio tests. So as the box goes, you have Boya branding on the front with a picture of the lav mic, BYM1 for the model. It does say that it's compatible with all these different things down here. So smartphone, iPad, computers, DSLRs, you name it. And then it does say that here on the sides as well. Now, as far as on the back goes, you have your features breakdown of what's included inside as well. And then of course, all the specifications about the actual lavalier mic. So here is what comes with it. So first things first, you have your instruction manual here, kind of goes over how to install the battery, what to do, all that good stuff. And then of course you have your uh, microphone bag here. So a really nice bag with some Boya branding there. It's got some drawstrings there. And then you do have a quarter inch adapter. You have your battery. You also get the clip for the lapel mic that you can, um, you know, clip on your collar. And then the two things, and the reason why I went with the model that I have right now is you get the foam windscreen, but then you also got a dead cat with this one. So for this version, I think I said, I think I paid around 20 or $21 for it with prime shipping. Um, it included the dead cat and I wanted the dead cat because at the end of the day, if I'm going to be doing any recording outside, the dead cat definitely helps. And then here is the actual microphone. So as you can see here, you have the top of the microphone where the clip would go and one of the foam screens would go on. And, and then you have this extremely long cable. The cable is six feet long, so it definitely gives you plenty of versatility there. You do have this little clip there if you wanted to clip that like on your belt or something like that. And then of course here, Boya branding on there. And then it does say for cameras or smartphones. So you can turn this on or off. And then of course you twist this off to be able to put your battery in there. 
And then as far as everything goes, obviously this is what I will plug in to my actual um, camera, but also you can get any type of adapter if you wanted to use it for your smartphone. So like a 3.5 millimeter to a lightning or to USB uh, C or micro USB for that instance. Um, so yeah, or if you're lucky enough and have a smartphone that actually has a 3.5 millimeter jack, which if it's newer than 2020, then you probably don't, but, uh, but that is something to think about as well. So now let's go ahead and switch over and I'm currently using the actual audio from my Movo and the Movo now is only about, I mean, probably about 12 feet or 12 feet, 12 inches from me. So the audio is a lot louder than it was when I was sitting down, but I'm going to switch over and pretend like I'm doing an unboxing video of something and let's see if it sounds any different. Okay, so now this is going to be the audio from the lapel mic. So I have it mounted on my shirt and I didn't change the audio setting. So on the Sony a6400, I pretty much usually have it set at six when I have a microphone hooked up to it because when I look at the audio levels, it's peaking at about negative 12 decibels. And I was able to achieve the same thing when I did some quick tests whenever I uh, plugged it in. So as far as if I was to unbox like this cable wrangler like I already did from Smartish, uh, or the video I'm doing next is gonna be this prop tart as well. And so this is the audio, how it would sound if I was sitting here doing an unboxing video and had the lapel mic mounted and I don't feel like I need to just hover over my microphone. So for example, right now I stepped back from the actual camera uh, a good five or six feet now, and now it still sounds the same like if I was to walk back up, then here we go. So if I did that with my Movo, you would not be able to hear me if I walked away, maybe an extra foot away or so, it would just get very quiet so this is a mic test once again if i was to do an unboxing video so now let's go ahead and go sit back down and i'm going to have the uh, microphone plugged up to my shirt again and let's see what the audio sounds like with me sitting at my chair all right guys so now i'm sitting back at the same chair the same distance from the camera but i also have the lavalier mic now hooked up versus using my movo vxr 10 so down in the comments, let me know if the audio sounds any better with me being here versus having the Movo when I had the Movo earlier in the video. Now with the lav mic here, I might've mistakenly said, and I don't know why I'm thinking I said that the cable is only six feet long, but the cable is definitely not six feet long. I knew going into it, it wasn't six feet long. I think I might've just accidentally said that. Uh, it's about 16 to 20 feet long. So even though you're tethered to the camera still, you do have a ton of distance that you can travel and not be glued two or three feet away from the camera. So like if I wanted to right now, for example, I'm just gonna scoot back. Like now I'm like maybe six or seven feet from the camera. My audio sounds the same versus how it did with the Movo. So that is something that I really look forward to because for me, my videos aren't, videos of me walking around a lot and doing like videos where I'm really far away from the camera, mainly because I'm the only one that's really recording myself. I don't have anyone that's here to help me. I'm just kind of a one man crew when it comes to my YouTube channel right now. But for unboxing videos or for videos like this with a talking head video, uh, I think having a lav mic is going to significantly improve my videos because once again, 50% of your video is audio. So I really do believe that the Movo served its purpose and the Movo is still going to be a part of my equipment. But in certain situations, I think this lav mic is really going to help me step it up a little bit. So let me know in the comments if it sounds any better than it did with the Movo. Now, just for jollies, what I would like to go do real quick is go step out in the backyard and attach the dead cat to this and see if we can hear any difference uh, with the dead cat outside because it's a fairly windy day today. So let's see how it picks up my audio outside. 
All right, guys, so now I'm outside with the dead cat on, got that installed. The wind actually has picked up quite a bit than what it was just a second ago, so hopefully that helps, giving y'all a good idea of how the dead cat performs uh, with the lavalier microphone. So I have um, obviously uh, all this cable here, but I'm only uh, arm's length away from the camera, but with the dead cat, let me know in the comments if it sounds better or worse uh, than it did with just the foam windscreen. And I do apologize once again, I don't have an ND filter and it's really sunny outside today. So hopefully this video just doesn't look like straight garbage. Um, but with that being said, guys, do hit that like button. Uh, do comment down below and let me know if you've ever had any experience with this Voya microphone or another one if you have a recommendation. And then obviously do subscribe. I hope that you are interested and in checking out my other videos as well. So I'll see you in the next one, guys, and be safe out there.